Trinidad and Tobago continues its quest to move away from the over-reliance on oil and gas into more diverse and sustainable industries. One targeted area has been the financial sector, and on July 11, 2014, Senator the Honorable Vassan Barath, Minister of Trade, Industry, Investment and Communications, and Minister in the Ministry of Finance and the Economy, alongside a team from the MTIIC, paid a visit to the offices of the Operations and Shared Services Company Limited, OSSCL. OSSCL is a free zone enterprise project set up by Scotiabank in collaboration with the TTIFC and TTFZ as part of the government's diversification initiative, which seeks to provide a support function for the financial services industry through specializing in a variety of fields such as account control, reconciliation and settlement services, accounting support and transaction processing and verification to name a few. Scotiabank celebrates 125 years in the Caribbean this year. Furthermore, locally, 2014 marks our 60th anniversary. We have seen our operations grown from our first branch in Port of Spain to over 29 locations in our Twin Island Republic, employing approximately 1,400 people today. Scotiabank has demonstrated its commitment to the expansion of its operations in Trinidad and Tobago to the creation of this center, the Operations and Shared Services Company Limited, an investment of over $100 million. Trinidad was selected as a preferred location as the infrastructure and telecommunications network are well established, with the capacity to support cross-border operations, which is key to what we do. Another important factor was the availability of a diverse and skilled workforce where English is the primary language. Our parent company invested, as we mentioned, over 100 million to construct this state-of-the-art building which now houses all our units under one roof. Additionally, Trinidad was selected as the ideal location for this company due to the willingness of the various government agencies and ministries to come together to partner us with us and to create the framework necessary for this type of investment. Senator the Honorable Vassan Barath delivered the feature address of the day in which he spoke of the important role the financial sector will play in the economic diversification of the country. This actually is quite a landmark um, for the government of Trinidad and Tobago and um, for Trinidad and Tobago as a whole in that it is, an, it is a sector that we have been looking to encourage for many a year. There's no doubt that in Trinidad and Tobago we have what we could certainly determine and call a mature financial sector by comparison to the rest of the CARICOM and in, in fact in many parts of the region and indeed um, last year the financial services sector accounted for about almost close to 13 and a half billion dollars of our GDP which is uh, nothing to be sneezed at. In fact, it, it also accounted for 25% of our non-energy GDP. So it's, uh, it's something that uh, we've got to focus a lot of attention on. It, it uh, employs over 50,000 people um, across the sector in insurance, credit unions, banking, and so on. So it's something that um, the government has put a lot of emphasis on, particularly in the last uh, two years to be able to ensure that it's one of the areas that we can focus on as far as diversification of the economy is concerned. Our economy will not grow substantively if we are to depend only on oil and gas. Oil and gas currently creates employment for about 5% of our population. And so therefore, as a responsible government, it is our responsibility to ensure that we create the economic space and the environment to create more employment. The Ministry of Trade, Industry, Investment and Communications continues its work towards the development of a diverse economy and with the OSSCL continuing to play its part in the growth of the financial sector, conducting business in over 11 countries within the region and steadily creating employment and opportunities for the general public. Trinidad and Tobago can rest assured that the future of the economy looks bright.